Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Before we go into the video, we just want to take a moment to say thank you for your incredible support that we have been giving all these days. We have heard your feedback and suggestions, and we are collaborating with SAP PS and SAP MM SMEs. And we are thrilled to announce that we will now be posting some interesting content on these two modules in addition to the already FICO module videos. So this is the first video on SAP PS and we really hope you will find this content interesting. So please let us know your thoughts and feedback in the comment section. So before we go into the video, do not forget to like, subscribe and you also have an option to contribute to our efforts by joining the channel or clicking the thanks button and do a one-time contribution. Hello friends. So today in our PS module session, we'll be learning about project coding mask. So this is one of the first configurations that you will be doing as a PS consultant. And we should know about what is the project coding mask, how we can configure it as per client's requirement, and what are the different configurations related to this project coding mask. So first we'll need to learn what is a project coding mask. So it is basically a kind of a template based on which the client will be creating its project definition and WBS elements. This template will be designed as per the client's requirement and based on this template only, the system will prompt the user to enter the project definition and the WBS element. We can also configure the coding mask in such a way that all the projects are created based on a certain template only. That's also a functionality available with this configuration. So we'll open the project builder first and let's see how this project coding mask works. So I'm just trying to enter a project definition and I'll show you how the system understands and converts my project definition into a particular coding mask. So what I'm doing, going to do is I'm going to just enter Z201 and press enter. I'll select the project profile. So you can see the system has automatically added an oblique mark or a separator between Z and 201 and it is showing a coding mask here at this screen where the section mentions the project coding mask. So how this happened? This happened because we have configured a coding mask in the system which has a key named as Z and then it has a coding mask containing the various characters and separators which we can see in the screen here itself. So the moment I enter Z and then enter the number 201, it understood that we are going to use this particular coding mask and then it created the project definition in the same template. So let's see the configuration, how this coding mask is created. So we'll go to SPRO and then project systems, structure, operative structure, work breakdown structure, project coding mask. Then you can see there are two options. One is define project coding mask and another one is define special characters for projects. So let's see first the define project coding mask option. So you can see there are two entries here. The first column is the project ID. That is the key through which you will tell the system that you are going to use a coding mask. Then in the second column, you have the actual coding mask, which you are going to use. Then we have description. Then we have an option to lock this particular coding mask for the operative projects and then for the standard projects. So right now you can see I use the project coding mask Z the moment I enter Z201, it understood that I am going to use this particular key and then it started coding my project definition based on the coding mask. So every coding mask contains separators, which you can see here, oblique, dash, and then it has certain zeros and X's. So the zeros represent numerical entries and the X's represent alphanumeric entries. So wherever you have zeros, there you can enter only numbers. 
and wherever you have access there you can enter numbers as well as letters so let's see how it works so if in this project definition i enter z a01 then what will happen see system is giving me an error what system is telling in one section of project to wb element there is no number so you can see after the key z and the oblique system is expecting three numbers actually because three zeros have been configured in the project coding mask what i have done is i have entered the letter a and then two numbers so system is disallowing me to enter the project definition so this is how you configure the coding mask so that the end user is able to enter its project definition in the same format in which the requirement is there so you can see here in the coding mask you have three zeros so after z i can enter three numbers only then three x's are there those are the characters alphanumeric characters i can enter numbers also i can enter a letter also so let's test this also i'll go to the project builder and i'll enter z201 and abc so let's see what happens now you can see the first three numbers were accepted with first three zeros and three x's i have entered abc if i enter a zero also system will accept this because x's represent the alphanumeric character but again if i enter a number here system will accept but i if i enter a, a character here system won't accept why because after three x's system is expecting a number here if i enter a number it will automatically add the separator let's say if i enter ab01 so you can see it has already added a separator and now the number 1 it has taken in the sequence like 0001 because the numbers are allowed in this particular section so this is how the project coding mask works we can design our own coding mask here only thing is you have to enter a key here like here y and z are there you can enter a and then you can start entering your coding mask you have to remember that every coding mask has to start from a separator you can see here in the y you have a dot and in the z you have a oblique but how these dots and obliques and the keys are being considered by the system that we'll have to see in the second configuration so we'll go to the second configuration which is the defined special characters for projects if we open this you can see there are multiple options here multiple fields here where you have to make entries and based on that only system will decide so the first entry is pl that is called project length project length is basically the length of the key that you are going to use to design your project coding mask here you have seen that the keys are only one character length if you can go to the if i can go to the coding mask section you can see y and z are there so the length of the key is only one if i want to use a key which has a length more than one let's say that if i create with a b and if i press enter you can see system is giving me a different error if i enter let's say n1 you can see system has given me an error key is too long key cannot exceed one places why because my project length has been designed as one if i go back if i go back you can see the project length is one so if i change it to two and then save this and then if i want to design a key with more than one characters let's say i design with n1 and press enter now system is asking me to enter a coding mask so i'll just create a coding mask with this xxx oblique triple zero dash xx dash zero zero so what kind of coding mask i have created my uh, project definition or wbs element will start with the character dot 
then i will have three alphanumeric characters then a oblique then three numeric characters then a hyphen then two alphanumeric then hyphen and two numeric characters this kind of a mask i have created okay so this kind of a mask i have created okay i have actually so if i save it so i have created a coding mask starting with n1 so let's say i again go to project builder and i create a project with n1 ty so what system will do i'll have to restart so you can see system has automatically added a dot here so you can see the project coding mask also just a minute so you can see n1 then a dot and three alphanumeric characters i have entered two so it has made it like n1 dot ty if i enter zero here so it will again do it then if i enter some numeric characters then it will automatically adjust as per my coding mask here so you see this project length is actually the number of le the length of the key that is being used in the project coding mask because i increase it to 2 so i was able to create a project coding mask with two keys but let's see whether i can create a new coding mask with key having only length 1 so we have y z Let's create something with A. Is it allowed or not? Okay. It is already existing. Let's use some other letter. Let's use I. So it is allowing me. Can you see? It is still allowing me to create a project coding mask with key having length as 1. Even if I have given the project length as 2, still i am able to create a editing mask with key length one why this is happening this is because there is another configuration in the defined special characters for projects here you have a checkbox called sl you can see here sl this is called structure length structure length means if i click this checkbox then i'll be able to create masks with keys having two digits only not even one digit will be allowed let's test this so i have saved this structure length here now i will try to again create a project coding mask with one character so i have created n1 now i'll again try to create a project coding mask with i let's see what happens now you see what the error system is giving me that key for coding mask must be exactly two places long so that structure length checkbox actually con is configured like when you create a key having less than two characters it won't allow you if we click the checkbox of the structure length if we don't click that checkbox if we don't check that structure length requirement then i can create a coding mask key less than two characters also so this is the relevance of the structure length field i'll again go back so we have understood about the project length project length is the length of the key that i can use to create my uh, coding mask structure length if i click this checkbox then i'll be able to create the keys exactly with the length which i have specified in the project length field if i do not click the checkbox then i'll be able to create keys up to the length which i have created specified in the project length field so if i have specified let's say three in the project length field and if i do not click the checkbox of structure length i'll be able to use those three let, uh, digits or less than three digits also to create my key for the coding mask 
but if i select this structure length checkbox then i'll be able to create the key for the coding mask with three digits only and in this case with two digits only thank you for watching we really hope you found this video useful and we will come with a part two very soon so let us know your thoughts and feedback in the comment section so we can make the necessary improvements to make the content more and more interesting see you in the next video take care